Hi everyone, Yvonne Lorcan here and welcome to What's Your Wine Wednesday. Now I've got a very, 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 very gorgeous thing to show you because, you know, we all deserve it. Today has been quite a crazy day. You know, whether you're in Auckland on level 3 or anywhere else in the country on level 2, we're all a little bit tense. So let's just take a big deep breath in. One, two, three, four. And out. One, two, three, four. That's better. So the wine I'm going to show you today is a real treat. It is the Pegasus Bay Prima Donna Waipara Pinot Noir from 2010. So this is one of their library release wines and Pegasus Bay are one of the very few companies in the country that actually do this. Now they started back in 2006 um, putting a small amount of their wines away each year and just kind of stashing them somewhere secret so that no one would find them until they had at least 10 years aging on them. So what are we now? It's 2020. It's time for these um, 10 year old wines to come out. So this is their flagship Pinot Noir. Now um, Pegasus Bay, in case you weren't aware, is owned by the Donaldson family and Ivan Donaldson, who is a brain neurosurgeon, he planted uh, North Canterbury's very first vineyard back in 1976 and about 10 years later, together with his wife Christine, they, um, they started Pegasus Bay Winery. And it's been in the family and it's run by their, um, their sons and, and daughters-in-law and their, their families. Um, and it's amazing. It's, it's got incredible prestige and pedigree and darn great people. So they're a good bunch. Now, this wine is going to set you back a fair bit. But believe me, it's, um, well, it's worth it based on what I've tasted before. So $120 a bottle um, direct from the winery at PegasusBay.com. So let's see how the 2010 is tasting 10 years on. Right, this is the this is where you kind of talk amongst yourselves and there's a little bit of a drum roll in the background as I take the cap off and throw it over there on a piece of furniture and pour it into my wonderful pen and wire glass. Wow, look at that colour. So the thing I love about the colour is it's kind of earthy, sort of bricky red. Beautiful, let me just put this down, holding it up, diddly do, that's great television isn't it? So swirling it around, see how it's kind of earthy, bricky red and um, nice and sort of inky oh man it smells like um it smells like cherries that have been rolled in chocolate and then maybe in a little bit of freshly plowed dirt covered with spices and all sorts of red fruit man that smells really amazing it um it's kind of funky and smoky and a little um like a little bit feral but in a beautiful really enticing exotic way Mm. Wow, that's quite something. It's really hard to describe. It's so kind of silky textured and it's got this fleshy character to it. You know, yes, there's fruit, there's kind of a little bit of rhubarb, a little bit of wild cherry, a bit of to smoked raspberry but there's dried herbs and spice and oh man it's so complex like it's actually really difficult to put my finger on all the individual components because it's just this wonderful all-encompassing gorgeous thing to sip mm. and the tannins are I mean, they're there, but they're soft and powdery, and the acid's still really fresh. Like, it's a great wine, a great wine, and it's one that you just want to kind of sit and think about, you know, while you're in your armchair, you know, surveying your manor, or just looking into the fireplace, or just watching the telly. I don't care what you do, but I think you should, if you can, and it is a big ask, but if you have the um, the wherewithal, the resources to find $120 to buy the Pegasus Bay Prima Donna Pinot Noir from Waipara, um, the 2010 vintage, then you won't be disappointed because it's a real classic. And it's a real honor, actually. It's quite a treat to be able to try something that's had 10 years in the bottle. So yeah, there we go. Love it. Nice one, Pegasus Bay. Excellent. See you later, guys. Have a lovely Wednesday evening. Bye.